Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman. You've learned a lot about Azure Static Web Apps. As a bonus, I want to show you how to set up Azure SQL Database to use with Azure Static Web Apps. And this is all based on a learning path that you can find at aka.ms slash Azure Modern Apps. That's aka.ms slash Azure Modern Apps. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is deploy Azure SQL Database. For this, you can head over to the Azure portal and in the top, search for Azure SQL. This is going to show you all your existing Azure SQL resources in one place. You can also select Create to create a new resource. Now, from here, you have the option to choose a single database, a whole managed instance, or SQL running in a virtual machine. For this, we're going to use Azure SQL Database, and we're going to select an existing resource group. And then we're going to name a few things, like our database name and the server for this database. Now, I already have a server deployed. We're just going to use that one. And then the fun part, we're going to configure the compute and storage for the database. Now we're going to leverage serverless compute, which is going to allow us to auto scale our resources on a per second basis based on what's required by our application. We can set the minimum and maximum number of vCores. It will scale between that. Finally, we can configure an auto pause delay. When this database is not in use, it will pause. And that's going to allow us to greatly save on compute costs because we'll only be paying for storage. Once we're happy with these, we can select Apply. And really, that's all we need to do. We can go ahead and create the database. Now, this process is going to validate and then initialize the deployment. And then we'll take a few minutes just to deploy that database. Now, for time's sake, I went ahead and deployed a very similar database with a slightly different name called BustDB. Now, once we have a database, just like an application, we want to keep it up to date. For this, we can use the Azure SQL action, which very similar to Azure Static Web Apps, is just going to require some sort of connection to the database and the database server, which I'll show you. And then it's going to require a DAC pack file, which tells Azure SQL Database how to update the database. In the settings configuration, I can see under secrets, just like Azure Static Web Apps, I configured a connection string for my Azure SQL Database. Now, we can take a look at a past run, which actually went through updating the database. And you can see that it's running that DAC pack file and using that to connect to the database and update the database, and then let us know that the update happened successfully. Now that we know about the database, what about the application? So this is my Azure Static Web App. It's supposed to display real-time bus data information as well as a geofence for where I'm trying to catch the bus. However, we haven't connected this application to Azure SQL Database yet. For that, we can head over to the Azure portal where I have my bus app deployed. Now, in the configuration, just like for Cosmos DB, we have to add the Azure SQL connection string. So I can go ahead and select Add and add the connection string. Now, here's where it get, gets interesting. If I head over to the Learn module, what you're going to see is different instructions depending on what language you choose to use. So for example, if I'm using Python, I can see the connection string I need is below. But also for Node or .NET, I can see it differs slightly. So you want to be careful here. Now, if I head over to Visual Studio Code, I can see where I'm using that same Azure SQL connection string. And in this case, for Python, I'm using PyODDC to connect to the database and then return the relevant real-time bus data. Now, we also have this sample in Node and .NET, so you can play with whatever language makes sense or even try something new. I'm going to go ahead and add the connection string and hit Save. Now, once this save completes, I should be able to go back into my application and simply refresh the application and then be able to see the real-time bus data coming from Azure SQL Database. Sure enough, we see my geofence where I want to catch the bus, as well as some of the most recent bus data points that are looking like in route to my geofence. Now, we've seen very briefly how to configure Azure SQL Database to work with Azure Static Web Apps, but we hope you'll go try it out in the module or the whole learning path, which you can find at aka.ms slash Azure Modern Apps.